all higher plants do it and it's the number one reason we even get a harvest in the first place. Flowering is the number one method of reproduction allowing our crops to give us a harvest. Without it, there's no strawberries, no tomatoes, no peppers, and no peas. And definitely none of these zucchinis. So why does Bolton get such a bad rap? Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome back to another episode of The Garden Quickie, the show where in two minutes or less, we separate the good from the bad. And today's episode is all about bolting. Or, more specifically, why do we try so hard to avoid it sometimes, while other times, it's completely necessary. Hey, time is short, as you know, so let's get bolting. Bolting is simply flowering. That's it. Well, sort of. More accurately, bolting refers to plants where vegetative growth and the foliage is the desired crop, and the flowering or going to seed puts a stop to it. Examples would be basil, lettuce, green onions, and even this Swiss chard. The first thing to realize is that bolting in non-fruiting crops is bad for us, not the plants. For these crops, such as this cilantro, it's a perfectly normal, natural part of their life cycle. They have to do it to reproduce. But I don't want 10,000 little baby chard seedlings to sprout up in the fall when these guys drop naturally. Fine then, I can just cut the seed head off, problem solved, right? No, not really. The act of bolting spells the end of the plant as an edible crop, and it does this in two ways. Flowering is a massive drain on the plant. It puts all of the energy into making that fruit, going to seed, and those lush leaves that we harvested like mad in the spring turn into rubbery shadows of their former selves. And on top of that, the taste changes, and not for the better. Once bolting sets in, the crop goes bitter and not nearly as tasty at best, completely inedible at worst. Like we said, bolting is a part of the natural life cycle, and it's gonna happen on its own eventually. But that's okay. It's just the early sudden bolting that we want to avoid here. And that happens by heat, moisture, and light stress. You see, sudden bolting is almost always caused by environmental stress. Increased temperatures, less moisture, and more light hours are direct clues for the plants to reproduce. Their best days are behind them. They got to get that seed out there. It's why bolting happens almost exclusively in the summer. And when it happens, unless you're specifically after that seed, that's unfortunately the end of the line. Know what isn't the end of the line though? These green onion seeds and the next episode of the Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching guys. And hey, if Garden Quickies are your thing, be sure to click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.